Just waking up with my Benjamin, my new puppy. Little cutie baby. Looking Cindy the Rainbow Kitty. You're beautiful. What's up, Bubby Boo? What's up, Bubby Boo? Good morning. All right, so this new smoothie that I've been having literally every single day for the past, I would say, two months is life-changing. So we do strawberry, mango, pineapple. So I just eye everything out. <laughs> and pineapple. So next, I use this creamer. It's an almond milk vanilla creamer. I just use a little bit for the flavor, that much. And then the rest, I just do water. About that much. And then if I have to put more in, I put more in. And then I love this organic plant-based vanilla protein powder. I use two scoops of this, and then it has chia seeds in it, but I like to add extra because why not? Chia seeds are so healthy for you, so I'm gonna put this in as well. Good boy, good boy. Benjamin, look at the head tilt. I love you, Benjamin. I love you, Cindy. I love you, Barry. Pour in a bunch. I forgot the kale. I just put like some kale in there as well. And there's leftovers, but I always refill and I'll drink everything that I make. I was starting to film, but somebody was crying. So I went and got him. Oh, I'm out of breath from walking up the stairs. World meet Benjamin. <gasps> Benjamin. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he is one active pup. Oh, I'm just finishing up my smoothie. You gonna sit like a good boy? I have not been on YouTube in oh, a minute. Hello, I have missed you. I'm gonna talk and get ready quickly because this one has to go to the vet for his, um, I don't know, one of the shots that he needed. I was supposed to take him last week, but there was a snowstorm, a crazy snowstorm, like a three day long snowstorm. So I have a couple things that we're gonna do today. So I have been trying to sit down to film a few times. And as most of you know, who have a puppy, having a puppy is like having a baby. So it's very, it's been a little difficult. Um, on top of that, I'm 30 weeks pregnant. So I'm just freaking exhausted. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this glow cream, it's by Epicurin. Put it all over my face. Mm, it smells so good. So I did a spray tan because I was supposed to have my maternity photo shoot yesterday and it got canceled because it was snowing up north. So I think this is the most that it snowed in who knows how long. So we got Benjamin, Monday was two weeks. So it's been Definitely. Hey, what are you eating? So I've never had a puppy. This is my first puppy and I'm so in love with him. The cats are adjusting. Well, they're not sure of him. So when I first brought him home, he doesn't really bark much, which is good. I think the cats were like confused as to like what he was. So a lot has happened since the last time that I filmed. And I figured I would do a spend the day with me vlog and just kind of chit chat with you guys and just catch you up on life. So the cats are liking him. They don't love him. Baby man's like the most chill with him. I think they're all kind of confused, but they're okay. They're still like in their normal spots. They're not hiding or anything like that, which is good. So I think it takes, I like Googled it. It takes a little bit of an adjustment period, but everyone's getting a lot of love and everyone's doing okay. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know we were saying that we wanted a dog. Um, I have been extremely allergic to dogs uh, my whole life. 
So as much as I've always wanted one, I never got one because I just didn't want to be like itchy and sneezing and all that. I've been around do dogs a lot. Like everyone I know basically has a dog and it's just, as much as I wanted one, I was kind of like on the fence. That mainly being the reason, um, I know Anthony has really wanted one. So I was like, you know, one day when we have a yard, um, we'll get a dog. Like let's focus on one thing at a time here. And then, I laid eyes on Benjamin and it was unexpected. We were not planning on getting a dog. Our friends were running late for um, brunch. So we ended up stopping in to look at some animals and Benjamin was just there like sad in a corner, begging to come home. So as much as I was like so hesitant on getting a dog, I feel like I was the one that was like, can we get him, can we get him? I really, really want him. And uh, we went back three times before we made the decision and we, so it's funny because I know I'm seven months pregnant, so really the last thing you should be doing is getting a puppy. But let me tell you, it's uh, been worth it, 100%. Definitely not sleeping great, but I feel like it's preparing me for when the baby comes. So it's been definitely a fun learning experience. I didn't even want to do cream contour and I just was in the middle of talking and I just did it by accident. So yeah, speaking of allergies, so when we went the first time, I had my mask on obviously, then we went for brunch with our friends and I was like, look, I'm not even itchy. But realistically, I was like, it's probably just because I had my mask on. Now I feel like I'm getting a little stuffy right now, but I have not been allergic to this dog and he's not hypoallergenic. It's honestly the weirdest freaking thing because like we'll go to Anthony's parents, they have a dog there and without, if I pet him one time, I'm stuffy the rest of the night. And if Anthony gives the dog kisses and then gives me kisses, I have hives everywhere. My grandma, my aunt both have dogs. And I am like, I'm always dying when I go over there, especially being pregnant because I can't take allergy medicine. So really getting him was a gamble, but I've been so good. Like he sleeps with us every single night. He is, he's all over me all day and I'm fine. So I don't know what the hell. My theory, which people probably think I'm crazy, but I don't really care. Look at this little bugger. My theory is that because I love him so much, and this is my theory with the cats too, that like my allergies are just like subsiding. I don't know. Why am I allergic to every other dog but my own? I don't know. It's freaking weird, guys. So obviously I couldn't be happier, let's be real. Um, it's awesome. We had a couple sleepless nights. He had like diarrhea, been to the vet a few times. Anthony works all day. So it's really been a full-time job. Again, I'm not mad about it. He has just taken up a lot of my time. You know, when you're used to cats, they're so self-sufficient. When you get them, they already know how to use the litter box. And I feel like I can't leave him. Like I feel bad leaving him. So I haven't really left my house at all unless Amy, my assistant's been here in like two weeks. But it's okay because I'm like so pregnant that like I don't really want to go anywhere anyway be honest. So welcome to the crazy house, I say. But I love animals so much. Like my dream is to have a farm with like all kinds of animals one day. You know why I think I'm getting itchy? I think these, my door has been open in here and I think the cats have been around my makeup brushes. So I'm not gonna really bake. I'm just gonna set my under eyes. So let's do a little pregnancy update. As I mentioned, I am 30 weeks already. I feel like it's going very, very quickly. Today I woke up in like more pain than usual. I've been working out two to three times a week with a trainer, which has been really, really helpful for me. So I, when I don't work out as when I'm in pain. So I haven't had her this week because I was supposed to have my photo shoot yesterday. And then today I had to take him to the vet in the morning. So she's coming tomorrow on Friday. So I really feel a difference when I'm not working out. For anyone that's having like a lot of pain, I know it might sound like an oxymoron, but I swear working out and just stretching. Ooh, Cindy's here. Is life changing and it's just so good to like be moving around. So I'm in my third trimester and I feel like I'm like extra tired. Like back how I felt kind of in the first trimester. So I've been trying to get as much sleep as I can. I'm up a lot with him in the middle of the night to pee. It's gotten a lot better. Um, so I would just try to sleep in a little bit later on some days. Today, I mean, today I was up early. But yesterday I slept until like 11, which was just amazing. <sighs> so the nursery's all emptied out. I had so much stuff in there. Um, I need to go stop at a paint store today. I have two swatches already on the wall, but I think 
we want to do a little bit lighter so I'm gonna go and try and find something a little bit lighter as well that way we can get that all handled so that's exciting all the nursery furniture is ordered so i cannot wait to show you guys what i came up with as far as like the design so i've also been finalizing something very exciting that i've been working on for two years it's been over two years actually and what's exciting is it's going to be launching right around the time i'm giving birth I'm doing a little bit of like a light brown in my crease feeling like extra swollen benjamin you got my hair on your face so as much as I've enjoyed my past two weeks I've been you know going through some stuff personally as well so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend everything's all fucking amazing all the time it's you know it's been a struggle with you know being pregnant and having a new puppy and just all of that so as much as it's amazing and a lot of fun it has been really stressful as well let's be real for a minute I feel like you guys only see the good stuff here and you know I feel like I always make everything seem like everything's great all the time but to be honest like it's been it's been definitely a struggle this pregnancy like I am enjoying it for the most part and I've been very lucky for a lot of things but it's definitely been hard like it really has it's been it's been hard mentally, it's been hard physically, and I have my own things that I'm dealing with that I don't talk about online, and I just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys are also pregnant and you're feeling, you know, not quite like yourself, like, it's so normal. Everything's changing so much, and just the stress of, like, not knowing and being, like, I'm honestly, I'm so scared to give birth, you know what I mean? Like, this is something I've never done before. So I do have, like, all those fears, and, like, there are days where I don't want to even, like, get out of bed. And, like, you know, your body is changing, so it's, it's crazy seeing that. So I think having all of these normal concerns, doubts, fears are normal, and, you know, usually you guys see me, I have, like, full makeup on and outfits and all that one, like, when in reality, most of the time I'm in pajamas, no makeup, feeling lazy, helpless, you know, all of those things. So I just want to let you guys know that like I too go through that and you just got to really take things day by day. And if your body's telling you it needs rest and you need time to rest, give your body what it needs. We're growing humans here and it's a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. And moms out there deserve so much more credit than they get. So I just wanted to send my love to anyone who's you know, struggling right now. I feel you, I totally feel you on that. And you're allowed to take it easy and spend some time on yourself and, you know, try to pamper yourself as much as you can, get as much sleep as you can before the baby because, you know, that's all I hear, before the baby because once the baby's here. But again, I am so excited, I really am, so I don't wanna, so I don't wanna sit here and complain too much, but I feel like one thing I always do with everything in my life and everything I've ever done is like made everything seem so positive and so perfect all the time when that's just not reality and it's kind of hard to like live up to that to be honest. So I feel like that's kind of like why some days like when I want to film and then I just don't because I just want to make sure I'm like always in a good mood for you guys because you know that's what I how I've always been and that's what I want to always show you so i don't even know where i'm going with this i'm just kind of rambling at this point but uh but i'm sending you guys so much love and i gotta hurry up because i have to leave soon it's been so snowy out i can't wait till it's like nicer out so i can take a little booger to the park and all this fun stuff when a little makeup turns into the full glam like this always happens guys i haven't worn makeup in days so sometimes you just need a little bit as like a pick-me-up Makes me feel better, that's for sure. Especially when everything else is how it is. <laughs> Just some really casual lashes for today. I gotta go start my car because there's still snow on it. Shit. Wabubula. Wabubula.
Look, yeah. he's like, Mama, I want to go further. <gasps> oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. oh, no. I'm going to give you this. Hold on. No, no, no. Give me. Benjamin? I can Hey. Benjamin. Shut straight in the front. Let's see here. Tootsie. Look at my chapstick. Matches. It's freaking cold out there. You ready, boo boo? You ready? All right, getting ready to head out now. Oh, Benjamin. I have a carrier for him. He's not staying on my lap. Don't worry, guys. But I just cleared off all the snow and it made a lot of noise, so he got scared. Oh, he's scared. Are we ready to buckle up? Look, we match. <gasps> not even planned. We didn't even plan to match, but we do. All right, we're running late. We gotta go. Come on. Back in your carrier, my little lover. This is literally the first time that I'm heading out and I don't even know how long I haven't been, even been in my car. I had all the snow on it from over the weekend. Okay. <laughs> We just got here. Look at this little boy. He's so scared. Why are you so scared? I want him to like the car so I could, because I'm planning on bringing him everywhere. So, all right, we're going into the vet. He needs to get his little shot, and then we'll be right back. Benjamin. <laughs> I'm checking out at the vet, and it looks like baby Cindy girl. He did so good. That was nice and quick. Look at the look at you. <gasps> Such a good boy. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> I haven't had Starbucks in a really long time because I found out how much sugar was in the Starbucks that I've had every day for like 20 years. Um, but I kind of want one because it's been a while and I haven't had any coffee yet today. So we're going to go swing by Anthony's shop to visit. Guys, I can't believe I'm a dog mom. Five cats, a dog, and a baby on the way. It's your girl. And I think I'm more than capable of taking care of all these animals. I know some people are like, that's too much. Listen, I wouldn't have done it if I couldn't handle it. So, animals over humans all day, every day. <laughs> Tomorrow, Anthony's dad is gonna be painting the nursery, so I really gotta go after I stop there. I'm gonna go look. Um, the paint color I liked, he thinks is too dark. My windshield wiper looks like it's fucking broken. Okay. Alright, we're not broken, we're good. So, I feel him kicking so much now, it's like one of the most surreal feelings in the world and it's probably like the one thing I'm gonna miss the most. I have really bad pains in like my groin area um, and the sciatica pain that I was talking about, um, it definitely subsided and that's from stretching and I think working out as well. So if anyone's experiencing that, definitely stretching helps. Um, I've been having my smoothie literally every single day. The smoothies were, are probably the last like month and a half, two months. And let me tell you, that has helped definitely a lot with constipation for anyone who's struggling with that. I showed you guys the recipe earlier, so that and also, a pre I've been taking prebiotics. Um, I'll link the ones that I've been taking. It's like a liquid one. That's definitely helped as well when nothing else would. So um, that's been awesome. I just wanted to share uh, that with you guys. But I feel like since it's been like two weeks since I've gotten a chai, I think I can treat myself every once in a while. I just, when I found that out, I was like, how did I not ever know that? I probably did know it and I just tried to like block it out from <laughs> my life because I didn't want to. Stop drinking it. Why do I feel like there's something you can get your dog at Starbucks? Let me check. Dog drink? A puppuccino. I'm gonna get him a puppuccino. It's just like a little tiny cup with whipped cream. So my goal is to get him like super comfortable in the car because I wanna bring him everywhere. Once I have the baby, it's gonna be in April. The weather's gonna start getting nice and if all this COVID stuff continues, I'm probably not gonna be going anywhere but like parks. So I was like, how perfect is that? That the puppy is gonna be outside with me and the baby and they're gonna grow up together. Never thought the day would come that I would be at Starbucks. Ordering a puppuccino. Look at you sitting like a good boy. Look at you sitting like a good boy, Benjamin. Hi, what can I get started for you? Hi, can I get an ice venti soy chai? Okay. Um, and then a grande caramel macchiato. And then, do you guys do the puppuccinos here? 
Yes, we do. Is it kind of like a hot or ice? I'm sorry. Uh, ice, please. Okay, well, anything else? That's it. Alright, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Papa Gino coming right up. Hi! Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Say hi, Benjamin. He's getting so excited. <gasps> <I'm>... <laughs> Shh. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, I know it's coming. I know we need our coffee. It's getting late without our coffee. Thank you so much. Wow, Benjamin. <laughs> Thank you. A couple hours from Japan. Would you stay away? I'm losing touch of who I am when you're far away. We're pulling up to Anthony's shop now. Well, that was a quick little pit stop, but we're gonna head home. I'm gonna drop him off and then I'm gonna go to the paint store. So last week when I was planning on filming and I didn't, I had asked what you guys, like what topics you wanted me to talk about. Baby wish list. So I'm gonna share what I put on my registry with you guys. A lot of the stuff on there are recommendations from my friends that have babies. So obviously I really don't have much as far as like advice on like what's really good and what's not yet. But um, I could share what I put on there. I know a lot of people are asking that. Um, I, what was my most, like the most wanted thing? His parents got us the snoo bassinet. I heard so many good things about it. So I'll definitely let you know what I think about that. Um, I believe you can like activate certain features from your phone. It's supposed to like rock the baby to sleep. Apparently it's supposed to help the baby sleep better. So I was really, I'm really excited about that. I went to a baby store and the guy there had recommended the Nuna, um, the Nuna swing, which I'll also link for you guys. So he said that that's more um, of a motion of like you rocking your baby. So it's really, really good for them. For the car seat, I went with the Nuna Pippa, I believe. I went and I held a bunch of them and Whatever one I chose, I'll list it again. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like so bad with this baby stuff. Um, it was the lightest one, it was super lightweight, which was awesome. They have like a 15 pound doll they put in each um, one and the car seat I was planning on getting, I could barely even hold it with the baby in it. So I figured, you know what, let me be smart. I wanted one because it was a little like prettier, but I went with the lighter option because, let's be real, I'm a tiny human myself, so I wanted something that was gonna be realistic. So that was definitely one of my most asked questions. I'm actually just pulling into Sherwin-Williams. So there is a paint color that I love. It's called Durian Gray. My sister just used it in her bedroom. This is what I wanted for the nursery. But um, Anthony thinks it's a little too dark. So I'm gonna go and try and find like that same tone in a little bit of a lighter shade. So I'm gonna show you guys the options and definitely let me know your suggestions. Quick, crazy story. We came here about two weeks ago and as I mentioned, his dad is gonna be painting the room for us and I, you know, was having a little bit of a sad moment and I was like, I wish my dad was here. You know, he would have been loved to have been a part of this and like, painting the room and all that. My dad was such a handy person, like he did everything, a man of many tasks. So I got a little teary-eyed just, you know, thinking of my dad. And then we walked in the store, picked out um, a paint shade, asked for a sample of it, and then he asked for my last name and I said Bible and he looked at me and he goes, Steven? And I was like, and I just literally started bawling. It's like, obviously he knew my name wasn't Steven, I'm a girl, but he, he, the way he said it, and then on the receipt it said, job one, Steven Bible. So, I just was like so emotional, because I was like, that was his way of um, just letting me know that he's with me every single day. And it's been hard, it really has. I have my moments, but I like just watch videos of him all the time, and I just miss him so much, and I really wish he could be here. For all of this, you know, it sucks. And I know he's here and he's with me. If I take this off, I can't talk. Um, but I just knew how excited he was to be a grandpa. So it's just very, 
it's a very emotional time for me. Um, but let me go run in the store now and let's see what I found. So this one is, put my nails, Mindful Gray. These are the ones I had before. I prefer that tone, but it does look dark. It looks darker on camera than it does like in the room. Wow, a lot darker on camera. If I get closer to it, you could see. That's like what it looks like in person, like right there. This one's a little too purpley. This one is requisite, this one's requisite gray and this is durian gray. Really on camera, gray. the one, the other swatch looks so much darker than it really is, it's weird. That's how it was in that picture that you showed me. I thought it was like way darker. Really it's pretty. Wet, so it'll get, I mean, if you go close, that's the real color, right? That looks closer yes, to it. Definitely. This that's one's too purple, purple, and then this one's dark. I like the dark, but. I like that one. Yeah. So I just wanted to get a cute photo. But Mr. Bowie had other plans. Ouch. So I'm just sitting here editing a bit. I have cat hair all over me. I think I'm gonna take a nap. I'm like so exhausted. I didn't get great sleep last night because the dog. So I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Baby Maine. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, with the ear back. Baby man. So I just woke up from a nap. I was exhausted. I needed one. Um, I showered because my makeup was just feeling like too much on my face. Um, I was editing for a bit. Now I'm just waiting for some food. I just ordered some Chipotle and my class is about to start. I have a class at eight o'clock for, it's like a doula class that I signed up for to learn as much as possible for giving birth. So I'm really excited about that. Um, that's gonna start soon as well. So I'm just gonna wait for my food and wait for this class to start. Just fed the babies. Now it's time for me to eat. I'm addicted to Chipotle. I get veggie tacos with guac, stir fry veggies, corn, salsa, lettuce, bean, black beans, and brown rice. Your body becomes rigid, and rigidity causes more pain. My class just ended, it's 9.45. It ran a little late today and I am exhausted. So I'm about to get in bed with the little babies and that's it for my daily vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.